Okay, so there's a schedule, right? A fee schedule. Now this is this is notice. I'm giving you notice. If you use my name, that's copyrighted. There's a five hundred thousand dollar fine for every time you use my name without permission. Welcome back to the Van Balian channel guys. Today we head to California where a sovereign citizen attempts the traveling not driving script. But because of his attitude and the fact that he's on probation for a 245 on a peace officer with a gun, that's assault with a deadly weapon, they tackle the stop with patience. But it soon escalates when he refuses to leave his vehicle and by the end of the stop one cop is ordering him out of the vehicle wearing a gas mask. On a lighter note, the fee schedule does make an appearance in this one. This time it's for a half a million dollars. Right, let's get into the video. Hmm. 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 <sighs> I need you to Peter to identify himself. Who's your sergeant? If I could, if I imply, hands on the steering wheel. Both hands on the steering wheel right now. Where's your superior? Hands out of the car. Get out. I need everybody to identify themselves. I need names and batch numbers. Of course you do, Princess, but I'm sure the names of every officer will be on that arrest report anyway. So all you're really doing here is prolonging the inevitable. You guys took something personal that you didn't have to. So are you going to call your superior? Who's your superior? So you can what? You can call your superior? Yeah, Are you going to call your superior? Okay, so there's a schedule, right? A fee schedule. Now this is this is notice. I'm giving you notice. If you use my name, that's copyrighted. There's a five hundred thousand dollar fine for every time you use my name without permission. Yeah, first of all, names are not protected by copyright law. That's just not a thing. So your notice and threat to charge anyone half a million dollars is as empty as your head. And secondly, this cop isn't buying any of your nonsense anyways. And rightly so. Wait, so this guy is not only dumb enough to pull this sovereign citizen nonsense, he's dumb enough to do it while on probation. Genius move. I'm not going to comply willingly. If you were going to take me, it's going to be against my will. I'm not a 14th Amendment. Okay. Where's he at? Morning, sir. Same situation. Okay, so where to start with this one? First of all, I'm really looking forward to you not complying at the end of the video for the arrest, so please don't let me down on that. And secondly, your I'm not a 14th Amendment citizen argument is really dumb because I could list off numerous court cases over the years where they've all basically ruled that this argument is legally incoherent and that so-called sovereign citizens, like all citizens of the United States, are subject to the laws of the jurisdiction in which they reside. And this attempt to divide oneself into two separate entities is a legal fiction and has been struck down consistently in courts and around the country. 
And finally, that same situation remark to the supervisor should tell you everything you need to know about sovereign citizens and their inability to learn anything from their past encounters. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you you need to step out right now, okay? Sir, you know there's a difference between private and public. I've stepped out of the private, out of the public. I'm in the private now. This is private property. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. You've been uh, given warning that you're delaying their investigation. Is that correct? Okay. Now, a prior investigation or an investigation to fish for criminal activity? Because there's no criminal activity here. There's no prior violation. A private investigation to fish. I stepped out of public, I'm in private now. What the heck are you rambling on about? Look, it's pretty simple. You're driving or you continue to drive an unregistered vehicle on a public road. That's against the law in California. So just arrest him already. I'm telling you right now, from the past time that we dealt with you last week, as mm -hmm. well as today, okay. you realize that you're delaying their investigation. Investigate. They're fishing. There is no investigation. Or if there is a prior investigation of a crime that was committed prior, you're driving a vehicle with extremely expired registration. That's in the private. That's in the private. Okay, you're driving on a California highway here on the road, a surface street. It's a public road. Why do police in this day and age, with all the knowledge we've gained over the years from previous traffic stops, think they can still have a reasonable conversation with a sovereign citizen, and especially when they've only recently dealt with him for the same thing? I know this is because of the 245 and a peace officer thing, but that's all the more reason to end this sooner rather than later. Prolonging this only wastes everyone's time and potentially puts the lives of everyone in danger. Let me ask you this question. Is there anything I could do to have you get out of the car? So what? So you can search it and seize it and so you can put me in cuffs and put me in your car? Is there anything I could do to get you to comply and get you out of that car peacefully? Is there any, any way? You could let me go about my business because obviously, look, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am not. So we're done. So See, you're fishing, trying to decide whether you're going to find something to incriminate me with or, or to pin me on some type of bogus charge i'm telling you i don't want to biz i don't want to do business because what you're doing is a presentment i mean you, you could chop it off as this or this or that but i don't want to i don't want to consent to any business right now i like i'm close for business i don't want i don't need to uh, subjugate myself to whatever you're going to decide to charge me with like that's that's in the end of the day that's what you're trying to do is fishing and you're going to say that it, it delaying an investigation an investigation to what an investigation for you to find something to charge me with so if you were ever wondering what a professional victim looks and sounds like well this is it all this drama over an expired registration i'm gonna ask you one more time is there anything i could say to get you to change your mind and get out of the car why do you want me to get out of the car because i'm ordering you to now so you guys took it personal Waited for me all over the corner and just wait, wait again, right? Is there anything I can do to convince you to get out of the car? You. Anything short of getting involved in the altercation with you, which I don't want to have happen. I don't either. Okay. I want to go home. I have stuff to do. So Everybody, I have to, to work. I have to make a living. And if this car isn't registered, it's because it's in the pri it's in the private now. And as I'm hard having to pay month to month rent and bills for the kids and bills for everything. You think I want my girl working? I have her working because I have, we have no choice. You know how expensive you everything is? So you thought going down the sovereign citizen rabbit hole was the answer to your financial problems. Well, I'm sorry to be the one to break this to you, but this is not the answer. I've seen people lose everything, and I mean everything by doing what you're doing right now. All these frivolous notices you're filing have consequences. Just ask the gaggle of soft sits in Tennessee how it worked out for them recently. They fucked around and they found out the hard way. Question that I've asked you three times now. Is there anything I could do to get you, to convince you to come out of that car peacefully? To do business. Period. That, yes or no? I don't want to do business. I don't want to do business. Answer the question. Is there anything I could say to get you to change your mind to come out of the car peacefully? Answer yes or no. I can't afford taking this car out of the impound. 
I can't afford going to prison or jail for for because somebody's ego got hurt. So then, so then comply with lawful orders if you don't want to go to jail. You, can you promise me that? Yeah, as soon as I get out of here, you're gonna cuff me up. You're, you're gonna, gonna take the car. Gonna I'm gonna end up in the hole be because what? Because I consented. That's the end of the day. Once you consent, you open the door for contract. I don't want a contract. Is what I'm saying. How dumb do you have to be to believe following a lawful order is signing a contract of some kind? That's just too absurd for words. And here's a tip for free. If you can't afford to pay for registration or get your vehicle out of the pound, then don't drive. Take the bus or get yourself a bicycle. Just a thought. Okay, so what is your answer? Yes or no? Is there anything I can tell you that makes you get out of the car peacefully? I'm not going to make promises about putting you in handcuffs or not. See, see, see what it comes down to? It's like do what I want, do what do do what I say, or yeah. Yeah, it's called following the yeah. That's called following the law. You should maybe try it sometime. You never have to get your car towed or go to jail or anything like that. It's amazing. I'm trying to be really nice and have a lot of patience for the second time now. <sighs> Did you look into what I told you last time? About having me having a trustee, about being in the private. Yes or no. I'm done, com I'm done conversing with you. We did this before. I pulled up and I hear this officer giving you lawful orders to get out of the vehicle and you are not. This is so sad. He really does believe he's in possession of some secret knowledge that police officers, of all people, don't know. But I think that reply there answered your stupid question anyway. Anyone with half a brain can see that the manure you're shoveling right now just doesn't pass the smell test. We don't need to have any more conversation about will you get out of the car or what kind of issues you have with the car being registered or you wanting to go to jail or not. We are done. We are past that. If you want to talk at the side of this window till the sun comes up and then to the whole next day, we'll do that too because I can talk with the best of them. But I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with you by doing that. You've decided, you've made up your mind, that's why. You're not open to, to the reality that we're in. Like, the, the it's reality, by force. It's, it's, the reality it's, that we're in is you're now delaying an investigation and, and refusing to comply with lawful orders. An investigation to fish to go do charges. Like, that, that's, you can't put the apple before the, I mean, the horse before the, the carriage before the, the horse. It just makes no sense. How, how am I delaying an investigation that has no prior merit? First of all, the saying is cart before the horse, so leave the carriages and apples out of it, thank you very much. And secondly, if these cops can see that you continue to drive illegally and you've been warned not to, then they have an obligation to investigate that. So this investigation definitely has merit, so the cart was not put before the horse in this case. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to ask you before we're done having this conversation. Are you willing to get out of the car lawfully? On your own, if he's willing. By doing so, I, I don't I don't want to submit so submit myself to any jurisdiction of, of whatever contract you want to do. Like that that's that's the end of the, end of the day you want to you want to do that. Like that's fine. can I speak to your superior? When we're done, not right now. He there has to be someone that understands. I'm the one talking to you right now. Yes. But you don't want to understand that there's a private and a, and a public. That there's a 14th Amendment citizen that automatically does fall under your jurisdiction and is subjected to whatever you say. But like I told you, I already have my filings. And we're done. You can talk to him all you want. Hate to break this to you because you're happy in your little bubble, but filing a shit ton of rambling notices claiming you're not a 14th Amendment citizen with that hilarious fee schedule is a waste of your time, the city's time, and a waste of perfectly good paper. I wonder, is your wife happy about you doing this, especially as she now needs to work because of it? When I'm cuffed up in a cell in the middle of nowhere, you think he's going to step up and bother with me? He's saying you're going to, in a cell. Once you guys get me out of the car, everything's out the window. I, I know how it works. You can talk to him all you want. You have my word. 
there's other crimes a lot of things that you guys could be doing to have just but uh, like step out of the car so let them get on with it then, you're the only one prolonging this. Amazing how you want the police to do their job, but you're the one preventing them from doing it. And yes, driving on a long expired registration is against the law, just like assaulting a police officer with a deadly weapon is. I didn't, I'm not doing this as a challenge. I'm not doing it to bother you guys or, or it's just, I'm trying to go about my business and just do me and trying to like, just everybody leave me alone. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not, I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm not, it's, it's like, uh, you guys are just trying to escalate it into something that it's not. Says the guy who, if this cop is correct, is on probation for assault on a peace officer with a deadly weapon and who is now driving with expired registration and refusing lawful orders. Yeah, I think I'll pass on the morality lesson from you. Thank you. Step out of the car right now. Sir. I don't want to contract. I don't want. I know what you don't want to do, man. It'll be fine. Okay? You're going to be calm. We're going to be calm. And we're going to get through this. That's all it is. You're going to nice and slowly open the door. We're going to nice and slowly pull you to the side over here. And then we'll go from there. In fact, I'll call my supervisor once you get out of the car and we make sure that you don't have any weapons on you. I don't have any weapons. I'm telling you that. So we just need to make sure. Call your supervisor. I will. Well, right now I'm, I'm the supervisor out here. Oh, we'll call him once everything's secure and safe out here. Okay. See how everything I say can and will be used against me? I told you I do this every day. So you guys wait in on the corner for me again. Okay. And see, that's why I don't like answering questions. Okay, so go ahead and step out, and then we'll go from there. Call your supervisor, brother, because obviously. Do you understand? I am the supervisor right here right now. At the moment, yes, but you're not. You're not. You're not listening to reason. That this is not a Fourteenth Amendment type situation. Robert. Not listening to reason, says the sovereign citizen who thinks he can pick and choose which laws to follow and has a fee schedule to punish anyone who tries to use his name because he somehow thinks he can copyright his name. Absolutely bonkers. Yes. Why would you just step out of the car? Because I know what happens. You cuff me up, you throw me in the back, you ransack my stuff, you give me tickets, you, you take the car, and then I'm asked out wet. So then if you know that, why didn't the first time... You're gonna do it because you didn't just step out of the car. Because I either. because I already went. How do you how do I, you know, Robert? How do you know I wasn't just gonna give you a ticket or give you a, a warning? How do you know that? Do you know that, Robert? As soon as I as soon as I pull over, what were you doing? Screaming, yelling. You were ready to draw your gun. Yeah, because you're on probation for two forty five on a peace officer with a gun. Do you under Do you understand? And there's the nervous laugh. That one always makes an appearance when the other person gets a little bit too close to the truth. You failed to tell us that you're on probation. You failed to identify yourself. Your car's way expired. Okay. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, that you... That, that so, you... Robert, let's switch places. Let's imagine I was you in your seat. Mm -hmm. And you're me as a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. You know that you've shot at a police officer before. So you don't even know the facts. Okay. You don't even know the facts. Have you gone and looked into a case, so, into a case that you assume you know? You don't okay. even know the facts. Fine. Let's do this. You, you're on probation for 245. You think I am? You think, are you sure that's me? I have triple verified. I think that awkward silence pretty much speaks for itself there. And just in case you were sceptical, he more or less admits to it in the next sentence anyway. So this is just another example of how dishonest sovereign citizens are. I mean, as if we needed reminding of that anyway. Did you know that before you pulled me over last time? No, but you were screaming ready to pull the trigger before you even knew who I was. If you say that is me in fact. You, last time what happened? What was this? You went almost two, three blocks, right? I 
have no weapons. That's fine. Just I'm not. Your hands. I'm not gonna harm to anybody. Can I get your superior? What? Can I get your superior? Besides that guy. You, you, hold on, you're not reading this game. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, automatically, you guys want to step on somebody's neck and just force orders. But it's not. You're not. You're not hitting the, the ball, the nail at all. I'm trying to formulate sentences that don't even make sense. I like this cop. She's just summed up the whole of the sovereign citizen movement in just one sentence. Nicely done. It's all right. You guys are nothing but a little gang. Just think you guys got everything uh, figured out too. But at the end of the day, just <sighs> the bankers, lapdogs, fucking keeping control of what? everybody, all the fucking slaves and shit. You know we're living in a bankrupt society, right? You're not teaching us anything, okay? Nothing you already don't know. Which is even worse because you know, knowingly knowing this, you still decide to go that route. I like how he instantly thinks she's a part of his grand conspiracy when in fact she's just familiar with the Sovereign Citizen script, that's all. Amazing how soft sits think. Yeah, hey, I see the sign you have up there, right? Excuse me? Son of God? Yes. Okay. You know what the Bible tells us about uh, obeying authority? Yes. You do? It says that we shall uh, obey the authority that is set here on earth. That's how we honor God, correct? Correct. So right now we're the authority, right? So it's as simple as stepping out and we conduct our investigation and then my partners decide what to do. But if you're going to be proclaiming that, you should follow what you are proclaiming, correct? If exactly. it says that you shall... You shall abide by the authority that has been put in this earth and that's us and i do You're not, i don't break the law i don't break the law we're willingly lawful order therefore we're yeah abiding by what you believe correct there's so now you're contradicting yourself so instead of making this easier no. and living by what you're proclaiming that you live by mm -hmm. you're just making this harder okay have been done with this a long time ago there's a difference it's not a difference common law okay it's look not, it's not a difference the Bible is clear on saying that you, you shall obey the law and, and, and the authority that's put here on earth. Now you're just contradicting yourself. And you're saying that the Bible is contradicting itself. No, the Bible is not contradicting is itself. Exactly. There's only one supreme law. That's the Father. That's Him. That's the law. But He says you shall abide by the law that's put here on earth by men. It's clear as day. And we're the law and you're not obeying. You're just making this way harder. This could have been done a long time ago. Okay, can we just clone this cop and have him on standby for every sovereign citizen traffic stop from now on, please? Because that was awesome. And I know this stop should have ended a long time ago, like in the first five minutes. But if it had, then we wouldn't get moments like this where a sovereign citizen gets called out on his hypocrisy right to his face. So I, for one, can forgive a longer video as long as it gives us moments like this. If you step out, you're abiding by what you live. We're done with this. What is your first name again? Excuse me? What is your first name again? You, you, you told me last week. I don't remember telling you this week or last week. I have something to show you. If you refuse to continue to comply with our instructions and our orders, you will be uh, sitting there and we will be deploying some... Uh, chemical agents into your vehicle mm -hmm. okay it will hurt you i don't want that to happen okay i know but it's going to if you continue to refuse to comply we will deploy chemical agents in your vehicle until you come out do you understand me why would you want to do that It'll be you want to you you, you willingly want to hurt somebody you get off that way or something i do not so if that was the case and they did get off on it, as you say, then they would have filled that car with OC spray within the first five minutes. But seeing as they've wasted nearly 20 minutes begging and pleading with you to step out of your vehicle, then I have to say no. This is being used as a last resort and you're using this opportunity to play the victim card like a typical sovereign citizen. Then why would you want to do that? Because I, I don't want to, but you're refusing to comply. So I'm going to give you another warning. You, you want me to come? So, so. You're going to get chemical agents in your, in your, in your vehicle. And it will be unpleasant for you. Okay. 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 Okay.
You guys are too much. If you think this is too much, then go try this in Tennessee or Missouri, where recent videos of mine have lasted two minutes, three tops, or Australia, where you get one warning and your window goes in. You should be thankful that you live in California. Okay. So automatically, because you find something on the record that you don't like, you're gonna decide to target them because you don't even know the facts. You, you like- understand what I'm saying? You're going to have chemical agents deployed into your vehicle. I don't want chemical vehicles and uh, chemical agents in my vehicle. Step up and you're step out. There's a reason why they're wearing gas masks because it's not pleasant. No, no, watch out. Okay, step out, step out then. This is your your last warning. You should giving him giving him like. This is your last This one. is a stick of pizza and you're giving him a, like, go ahead, run it. Step out. Put it away. Yes or no? Yeah, I'm going to step out, okay. but I'm not, I'm going to do it. And it's, it's, it's only under duress. Okay. I'm letting that, putting it on the record. It's only under duress because I don't want to get hurt. I don't want nobody else to get hurt. And because obviously you guys are just okay. don't want to listen to reason. Open that door and we'll do it nice and calm, okay? All right, I'm going to take my seatbelt off. Okay. Let me just drink some tea real quick. I'm gonna get out. Like this is just fucked up, man. Leave the keys in there. Leave the keys. Nice and slow. Step out. Keep your hands up. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. Yet another right to travel fail and eventual arrest. If you want to look up his case, the details are plastered all over his YouTube. A link is in the description. Right, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. Right, take care all and I will catch you in the next video.